Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. It is December 17th, 10.48 a.m., 45 degrees outside here in sunny Texas. It is a beautiful, cool winter day here in Texas, and it is my favorite kind of weather outside of the rain or possibly snowing. Um, and that's Texas snow, not that northern horrible winter storm that you guys are getting up there in the north. If you are up there getting that snowstorm, please stay safe. Um, I'm thinking about you. Whenever I say I love the snow, I'd love for it to snow, I don't mean a nor'easter, is that what it's called? I don't mean that. <laughs> I mean the gentle falling cascading snow that's picturesque and beautiful. That's what I mean. <laughs> anyway, how are you today? I'm going to grab a sip of coffee. I did use my little frother this morning. We made hot chocolate with it. Did just fine. We just used a hot chocolate packet. And um, Chandler put to the first fill line milk and then a splash the top fill not almost to the top fill line a splash of heavy whipping cream and um, we turned it on and it did great i have on a really cute outfit today if i do say so myself <laughs> i kept seeing josie from fashion mumbler in these leggings and i just i could i waited and waited and waited and they finally went on sale so I picked them up, they're base layer leggings, so they're snugly warm, they're warm. They're not workout leggings, they're not running leggings. These are literally for wearing underneath your clothing or just worn for warmth because they're super cute. Hope you can see them. I may have to move the camera down. Let me move the camera down because these are worth a, a serious look. Where's the... Now, my slippers don't match. She has, and I have them pulled way up, up in the legs up here, so they hit right at my ankle. They're a little long, so are these not the cutest? I think they're so cute. Now, they're navy blue and white, and I don't have a white sweater, so um, I just have it paired with my cream sweater. I really love this sweater from last year. Um, it's still available, I will link it for you, and, um, it's just, it's an easy sweater to wear. Uh, now, this isn't the warmest sweater. You definitely would need to wear a thermal or something underneath it, especially if you live someplace super cold. This is what I call a Texas sweater. This is a heavier weight for colder days like we have now, but it's still not super heavy. So, and they have tons of colors and stripes and styles and everything in this sweater and I absolutely love it. Yesterday, the comments were coming in um, from where y'all had to quote, uh, had to state Christmas lights down in the comments if you watch the whole thing. Thank you so much, you guys are awesome. You really are. So many of you watched the whole thing, I couldn't believe it. It was very touching for me. Thank you so much for spending so much time with me, especially during Vlogmas. You know, you spend, you give me your time and that to me means a lot, so thank you. I just, I wanna thank you for that. Josie strikes again. So she, so she got some PR package on there and she showed these hair ties or hair ties. She showed pearl wrapped hair ties on her channel. And I just thought they were the prettiest things ever. Clicked on the link. First of all, they were in the UK and shipping here was ridiculous. Second of all, they were far too expensive for what I would want them for. So I found these on Amazon. These were very, 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 very inexpensive and they seem to be super cute. Now, these go on on top of another ponytail. So I would put my hair up and then put these on because these aren't gonna hold my hair. And then trying to twist them would be very difficult. So these are more decorative. So for me personally, I would put my hair up in a ponytail first using a hair tie, a regular hair tie. And then I would wrap my hair around the uh, hair tie and make a bun. These person, this is how I would use these because my hair is far too thick to use these as a holder. So, and then I would put, now this isn't gonna stay because I don't have that ponytail holder in. Then I would put the pearls around it. 
hiding the the ponytail holder the what's it called the hair tie holding the hair tie hiding the hair tie and then I've got the pearls in as pretty and decorative I thought that she did that I just thought that was so pretty and very festive for winter and for Christmas and even when we're on a cruise ship or when we're traveling or just here at home I just thought it was so pretty and so elegant very finished and put together so here they are there's white this is like a come on there's white this is like a champagne -y kind of gold color and then the pink kind of rose goldy pink color I think these were seven dollars for all three of them um, I am super pleased now you have to be careful because they will tangle in your hair so keep that in mind that's what I read in the reviews I did not I have not had it tangle in my hair but that's what I read in the reviews and in just a few minutes I will be putting my hair up I'm waiting for it to completely cool down after blow drying and brushing it out and all of that we are going to be doing my nails today we're going to do the um, color street nails and um, we're going to do the Christmas light one but I have laundry to do. I need to vacuum the house, mop the floors, and clean the bathrooms. So I'm going to do my nails after I do all of that. And that will pretty much be the vlog today. I know. So boring. I'm hoping this weekend we can go look at some Christmas lights. Um, we can do a little baking. We're definitely going to do some present wrapping as we're running out of time. So let's do our advent very quickly. Oh, you know what, you guys? I realized I didn't show you in the camping vlogs the Charlotte Tilbury, the last day of that advent calendar. So I'm going to put it in right here. I'm going to tell you that you're watching the camping vlogs, but you're not. You're watching regular vlogmas. So let's pop that in very quickly, and then we'll, get, we'll do our um, Chalk Zero. Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't built any Lego. We haven't done the advent. I haven't. We haven't built any Lego together, so that will be coming up this week as well. I've got to get that finished, started, and finished. We just haven't had a chance. All right, so here's the Charlotte Tilbury, and then we'll come right back to the Chark Zero. Okay, so you're still in the camper videos, and I'm still at home, but remember, I filmed the day ahead because I didn't want to bring the big, giant um, Charlotte, Tilbury, uh, Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar with me in the camper, but... <laughs> I'm not complaining because I get to open the last box a day early. I am sad that it's our last box. So here it is right here. What do you think it's in here? Take some guesses before we open it. There we go. <gasps> Stop that bag in there. Nope, it doesn't want to stay in there. Okay, lipstick. Pillow top. I'm so glad because actually mine is pretty worn down. Um, I probably have another six or eight months of wear out of it, and it's kind of old. So there we go. Love the pillow talk color. Now Addie's asking to come in. In the vlog yesterday, I let her out. So anyway, so there we go. All right. Um, what I'm wearing today is mostly all the Charlotte Tilbury. I do have the by Terry in the corners. I have the eyes to mesmerize. I have the eyeliner we got. I have the mascara. No, no, I have the Ilia mascara that we got in our Fat Fit Fun. But I did bring the Charlotte Tilbury with me in the camper. And I have on Charlotte Tilbury's lip topper, uh, the collagen lip, lip stuff. I have that on, but I have a different color lipstick on today. Um, I just wanted to try it. It's I can remember I'll link it down in the description box because I actually really like it. It's a good one. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll see you continue on in the vlog. All right, so I love that lipstick. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So here it is. What did I say the date was? The 17th, right here. I just placed a big Chalk Zero order. Oh, look, okay, now there's two in here. Okay, so remember we said yesterday, if this one came, well, here it is. It's down in this spot right here. And we have, aw, oh, we have a reindeer and a gingerbread. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. And they're so tasty. Mm -hmm. I'm about to have them right now with my cup of coffee after I heat it up. All right, you guys. Um, we will do the nails in just a minute. Like I said, I've got some cleaning to do. I think that's everything. It's 16 minutes of me yapping at you, so that should be everything. I'll see you in a minute. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do my nails. Um, my computer, you hear? So I have everything I need over here. I do need to trim them down a little bit and um, file, trim them down. I don't ever cut my nails, I only file them. Where is my nail file? I think my nail file fell out in the hallway. So I'm gonna go get that. I'm going to remove this polish, the um, set I had before, and then we're gonna put this set on and then I will do my nails, um, my toenails. So I'm not gonna show you that, <laughs> but I am excited about this. But again, so let me tell you how I start this off. Uh, I didn't do this last time, but I'm gonna do it this time because I know my nails need this. So uh, this, after I, pol after I remove my nail polish, file down my nails, I wash my hands very well with like Dawn. Don't use any kind of moisturizing hand soap. Um, so, uh, you know, you don't get any oils on your fingernails. And then this is the Bond Aid, and I will polish my nails with this, just sort of prepares them. And then uh, a coat of the OPI Nail Envy. And then I will let that dry. It takes no time for this to dry, especially only one coat. Um, my nails need this, so I know, it's going crazy. <laughs> my nails need this, so um, definitely I'm going to put this on. All right, I'll be right back. This is just the polish remover I'm using now. Um, there's another one that I use from Amazon and I'm just, I'm out. So uh, I need to get some more. And once I get some more, then I will uh, show it to you. I'll leave it linked for you. I actually prefer it to this. Um, it's nice and moisturizing. But you can see, I mean, this comes right off. My nail is not damaged underneath and um, just taking it off like I would. Now, it is glitter polish, so it's a pain to get off like glitter polish is. So. Hi, Fafat. There we go. Is that focused? And I am going to file down my nails. See, they're very loud. Okay, well, I have filed them down, gotten off the nail polish, and um, it was glitter polish, so it wasn't super easy to get off. Now we're gonna put these on. So here's the deal. Just sort of work between the two, and then what's left works great on my toes. So I kind of work with both of them, put them on all 10 of my nails, and I have plenty left over because one strip definitely works for two toes. So, um, cause you just, you can cut it in half, I, I don't, I just prepare to put one half on my toenail, you know, pull it off the way you're supposed to, drape it over the end and kind of pull it, stretch it off, and then put the other side on my other toe and do the same thing. So it just works out that way. Now this time I'm actually gonna save it because I don't wanna put these on my toe, my toes are still fine. So um, I may, tomorrow put them on my toes or later this week or something put them on my toes um i'm not 100 percent sure because of how far away they are you are not really going to be able to see the christmas lights or maybe you will i don't know so what i'm saying is i don't want to do a pedicure right now i am too tired i have too much to do so i'm just going to do my nails um and like i said you know you just kind of stretch it between all 10 fingers you have plenty of sheets Plenty of strips to do that. It's so easy. This is so, so easy. I'm watching Elliot right now, so I'm gonna crank you down, crane, crane you down a little bit, and uh, we're gonna get busy. The top coat, this, the nail envy needs to dry just for a couple more minutes, and uh, then we'll get started.
showing you. I've got them all folded up in their little plastic pouch and taped shut to keep them airtight. This was a much easier <clears throat> time applying them. Uh, and I can only imagine the more I do it, the better I will get at it. Um, I'm still gonna use regular polish, but I do really like the convenience of these. I like that they last for so long. That's really a big deal. But I think what I'm gonna do is after about a week, I'm then gonna put a top coat of the, um, what is this stuff I like? Put a top coat of the Glisten and Glow over them just to give a little reinforcement, um, maybe right at the edge. I don't know, maybe I won't. I'm not sure it's needed, but um, just in case, I don't want them to start wearing out. But, um, oh, it's a light. I was like, what? But it's part of the design. I was like, oh, I messed it up, but I didn't. So much, much better. And I like that I can wear these off on a cruise and they're not gonna chip and I don't have to go to the salon and get my nails done. So, um, super pleased. I will leave her linked below in the description box. It's to her Facebook group. You just join the group. It's free. You don't have to pay. You can, you can unjoin the group if you want. Um, and, uh, you can pick up your nails. Uh, I have quite a few now to get me through quite some time, but as soon as the winter ones are released, <laughs> I may order them. Um, I have lots of pink ones. I'd like maybe some I don't know, just different ones. I just, I'm very pleased with these. Anyway, um, my earrings are from Rocksbox. Uh, you guys, I love these, and I only really wear them uh, for special occasions or for um, like Christmas, seasonal. I don't know, they look very Christmassy to me. I don't have a necklace on today. I never did get the matching necklace to this. I have a circle pendant I wore earlier this month that I kind of feel like it matches, um, but they're from Rocksbox, so I'm hoping that I can I don't know, renew my rocks box. I'm gonna look and see if they have the matching necklace to this, cause I'd really like it. Um, I, I love these earrings, absolutely love them. And um, yeah, so Robbie is coming home. Let me see who just texted me. That was Robert, um, my husband, not my son. <laughs> Yummy. He is bringing home chips and queso from El Habanero. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Can't help it. We needed some chips and queso. And like I said, we're starting fresh in January. Anyway, so Robbie's coming home for a little bit. I'm very excited to see him. And um, yeah, we're going to have to figure out Christmas plans, figure out who is actually coming home this year. I'm not sure everybody is. I haven't seen my oldest and his wife in ages, and I miss them. I mean, we FaceTime, but. It's different than seeing them in person. Anyway, we had a socially distanced visit on the back patio and we have had one on the driveway, but I really want to give my kid a hug. I really do. I miss him so much. I'm going to cry talking about it. Anyway, so you guys, thank you so much. Tomorrow, I don't know what we're doing, but hopefully we're doing something fun and festive and maybe we'll do some baking. Try and get some baking in tomorrow and maybe some Christmas lights. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't watched our camping vlogs from Fredericksburg, go check them out. Seriously, um, I will leave them. Is it this shoulder? I don't know. It's this shoulder. I will leave one linked up here for you and in the description box and probably at the end of this video. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.